Hey, what is going on? So this whole series, we've been talking about how to create stuff inside of Android Studio. This video is special because we're going to be talking about how to destroy stuff. I usually don't do this stuff because usually it's pretty simple to figure out. But just if, if you need a little bit of assistance, we're going to be talking about how to remove an activity from Android Studio and just be sure that we get all of the, the stuff floating around that references it. So why exactly? Well, because I have this settings activity and I decided I want to destroy it. I want to instead create a contact activity. So you have two options. One, you can rename stuff and change references and make sure everything could be changed to this new contact activity. Or you could just delete the settings activity and start fresh. I generally prefer starting fresh if things are pretty easy to get started. And creating a new activity of this complexity is really not going to be really too difficult. So what are we going to do? Well, if you see, we have the settings activity over here in the Java folder. You can right click this and you can find find usages. And this is going to show where this activity is referenced in your code. So you can see it is referenced inside of the main activity inside of a method. So what we can do is we can basically go through these references and um, you can double click it the the most expanded one will show up here and this will reference that activity so you can change this code here so get rid of that you could also get rid of this method altogether if if you want this event handler to not do anything so we'll get rid of that that was a, a button handler on, on the main activity so that's one thing, and now you can see it says invalid down here, so that's cool. So now, next up, we have in the layout, let's double click this. This is in the settings activity.xml, and it references it inside of here. But we're actually not going to need this XML file at all, so what we can do is we can just delete that, and that's going to be right here. So we're going to right click this and delete. Delete that. The other usage uh, is not expanded right here. Double click this. And this is inside of the Android manifest. So there's this activity reference right here. And that refers to the settings activity. Make sure you're not deleting the main activity. You can check to where, see where it, it ends by looking for the forward slash and then the uh, greater than sign. Or you might also see something like this here and then a closing tag like this. In this situation, you would close the entire section. So do that there. So that gets rid of the reference in the Android manifest, which is basically the file that keeps track of all of your activities. So then at this point, you should be good to go into the actual Java file, the settings activity, and delete this. All right, and lastly, you might see some reference to this inside of this values folder, which is inside of this res. So go into the values and open strings. You might see a reference here, so you could delete it there. So for example, we have this main two activity one here, but it, I'm not seeing one for the settings activity, so we're fine, we don't have to delete anything. So to conclude, what all did we do? We deleted it from the Android manifest, we deleted the Java file, and we deleted the XML file, and we deleted any code referencing the activity. Specifically, we had some code that, that initialized that activity, so we got rid of that. And optionally, or in this case, it wasn't required, but you could go into the strings and make sure there's nothing here as well. So, pretty simple video, but just thought I would cover that because if you've been following along, I don't want to jump in, into the next episode and we have a completely different setup and I didn't explain anything on how to get there. So. Now you know how to delete an activity, pretty simple, so stay tuned for the next episode because we're going to start creating again. See you then.